Never before have we had a person get sent home on the first night and cause such upheaval amongst Bachelor Nation. Grocery Joe's time in the mansion was fleeting, but that didn't make him any less adored by the fans of this show. Joe, come on down here. Thank you. That was probably for Joe, wasn't it? Yes. Sorry, I was stealing your love. It's okay. Um, Joe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you you were there for, you know, such a short time, but man, did you make a big impression on Bachelor Nation. I want to talk to you about your life and what's happened since, but first, let's take a look at your time on The Bachelorette. <laughs> it's about time. Hello. How are you? You look Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I'm Joe. Joe. And I forgot everything I was going to say to you. It happens, I get it. Becca looks amazing. I like her already. I'd marry her. I'd marry her right now. Gentlemen, I'm sorry. Take a moment, say your goodbyes. What are you gonna do? I mean, nothing I can do about it. I don't know. So that was it, that was it. That was it, that was good, that was a good time. That was the entire time on the show. It's hard to ask somebody how their experience was with all of this because it was, it was fleeting, but how was your experience on The Bachelorette? Uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> You know, and I went home right away, so <laughs> it really went, like, horrible. But in all seriousness, it really is rare that someone on night one um, just seems to resonate with the fans of this show. Yeah, they'll mention people from night one, but they're really moving on with everybody else. And it was all about Joe that, that first night and then subsequent weeks. Social media... A blaze. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. I, I no, that. That was cool. There, there were some that I pulled, just a few. Hi, so I'm watching The Bachelorette finally, and I want to marry Joe, the grocery store owner, since Becca didn't. He's such a sweetie. That's nice. <laughs> Had to cancel dinner plans tonight. Still mourning the loss of Joe, the grocer. <laughs> you affected people, man. <laughs> Top 10 best contestants on The Bachelorette. Every guy is so different, you can't possibly rank number one grocery <laughs> store Joe. <laughs> Every, everything did blow up after you were sent home on night one. When people come up to you, what, what is it that resonates with you and that fans talk to you about? They just want to take pictures. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's nice. I mean, it's a good feeling. I wasn't expecting it. Like, I, I remember telling my friends, I'm like, it's going to be really bad. Like, it went really, really bad. Like, I, lo uh, like, I went home right away. Um, Was it embarrassing? It was, like I was, I remember before the show aired, I was freaking out, I'm like, oh, but um, it went well, you know, <laughs> so. It went from what you thought would be one of the more embarrassing moments of your life yeah, to, no. hey, this is all right. Yeah, it is, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it. I do see that you are a man of very few words. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone says, I don't know. I mean, I talk a lot, I just, you know, we got cameras. Just not to me know? right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, I don't know you too well. I mean, you seem like a great guy. <laughs> uh, it's just not to play. I mean, what do you want to know? <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh, Look, here's the thing that I know at least all of Bachelor Nation here wants to know. Are you still single? I don't know. Uh, we got to wait and see. What is that? You know, the whole paradise thing. You got to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe is bringing his produce to paradise. You're the best, man. Thank you. Joe, everybody. <laughs>